But it's really, really rare for us to be watching films that are produced by uh, physically uh, disabled uh, people, as well as um, films that have uh, physically disabled uh, individuals, uh, and especially in the language that is not English. Right? It feels in Korean, it's almost impossible for us to have that exposure here. And so I'm just honored that we are able to do, do this um, each year. And um, now we'll carry it forward to our Q&A. Uh, 오늘 함께해 주셔서 정말 감사드리고요. 어, 세 분이 이렇게 이 원고까지 오셔가지고 <웃음> 저희 함께해 주셔서 너무 감사한데요. 어, 이 영화를 만든 계기, 어떻게 해서 이 영화를 만들게 되셨고 어디서부터 이런 아이디어를 어, 가 나왔는지에 대해서 잠깐 설명해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 제가 잠깐 영어로 네, 아, oh, sorry. 네, 먼저 성함하고 어떤 역할을 맡으셨는지 해 주시고 그다음에 그 질문 해 주시고요. Uh, my question is first of all I wanted to introduce their, their names and their roles as well as um, what inspired them to create their films and how they came up with the idea. 아, 저는 강사로서 그리고 감독으로서 자충무도 남침판 팀에 함께 참여하게 된 변승채입니다. So she is uh, the instructor as well as uh, the director for the film, um, and her name is Pyeong Sun Tae. 안녕하세요. 한국에서 온 전미우입니다. 어, 저는 영화에서 보신 것처럼 어, 시각장애인이고요. 만날 게 돼서 반갑습니다. 참 어네요. 먹는 어, 동안 힘들었습니다. <웃음> Uh, so she is the art, art, artist here uh, in the film, and uh, she is. Um, so you see, what they got? So legally blind, is it? So visual dis uh, disability that she has. 네 안녕하세요. 대한민국에서 온 서울에서 온 남민입니다. 반갑습니다. So his name is Namin, and he's a producer all the way from South Korea. 어, 제가 맨 처음에 어, 수업에 나와서 팀원분들을 만났을 때요 어, 팀원, 어, 저희 팀원분들이 일단은 장애 유형이 다 다양했어요 발달 장애도 있었고 시각 장애인 분들도 있었고 지체 장애인 분들도 있었는데 어, 근데 어, 다들 영화에 대해서 잘 모르고 계셔서 그리고 또 이야기를 만드는 거에 대한 어려움을 좀 많이 가지고 있어서 어떻게 하면 더 쉽게 이야기를 만드는 걸 이제 재밌게 할수 있을까라고 생각을 했을 때, 아 자기 얘기를 자기에서 자기 이야기에서부터 시작을 해보면 좋겠다라는 생각이 들어서 어, 숙제로 자기 이야기 하나를 이제 만들어서 가지고 와주세요라고 제가 부탁을 드렸어요. 네. So they first met uh, in a classroom where she was teaching. Um, uh, these members how to create film but because they didn't have any background knowledge on filmmaking um, and they were just lear in the learning process she has uh, she had difficulty trying to figure out what uh, they could create together and one of the challenges she faced was because the members that were in the class um, they were they were uh, they all had different disabilities so some of them were physically disabled some of them had visual and some of them were um, also neurologically or psychologically they, they were having uh, difficulties, so they were. She was trying to create a film with the diversity that she had in the classroom, and uh, with with the very limited knowledge on filmmaking. So the first uh, task that she has asked them to bring forward was um, their own stories, what they have uh, experienced in their own life, um, to bring in the story to share together as a group, and that's how it first started. 어 그런데 어 굉장히 어 힘들었을 것 같은데도 불구하고. 자기 어, 본 어, 팀원분들이 장애가 있음으로 인해서 겪었던 아픈 이야기들을 가지고 와 주셨더라고요. 어, 그래서 그 이야기를 이제 합해서 발전해 나갔고 또 여기 남민님께서 아이디어를 하나 내셨는데 우리 팀은 장애 유형이 다양하기 때문에 이 장애 모든 어, 팀원들의 이야기를 다한 이야기 담고 싶다. 라고 말씀을 하셔서 또그 이야기를 다 담아내기 위해서 최선을 다했고 또 저희 오빠가 발달 장애가 있어요. 실제로 저희 오빠가 사기를 좀 여러 번 당했거든요. <웃음> 그래서 제가 그 모습을 옆에서 지켜보면서 
생각, 어, 들었던 생각들이 또한 아이디어를 아이디어를 낼수 있는 그런 기회가 되지 않았나 싶습니다. So at first, uh, she thought that it would be uh, it would be a difficult start because she wasn't really sure how comfortable they were by sharing their own stories, and so she uh, when she gave this. Uh, task for them to bring in their own story, she thought she wasn't going to get much response because it's not really easy for people to talk about what they have gone through, especially if it's not a positive uh, experience, if it's a negative experience or if it's something that has hurt them, um, it's something that they definitely would have a hard time sharing, especially with, if they don't know each other or if they, um, or sometimes if you know each other too much that um, exposing what you're going through personally is actually more challenging. And but. Despite her, her worries, um, she had great members that came uh, with their ideas um, by bringing forward all of their experiences that they wanted to share um, that was actually quite hurtful for, uh, in their personal lives, um, going through these dis uh, disabilities, um, you know, from, from, some of them were from childhood, some, some of them from adulthood, but um, they were eager to share their stories together. And then the producer actually uh, gave an insight saying, well, we don't want to just focus on one type of disability or one type of story. Why don't we put together all the stories into one to provide an overall sort of like uh, look on what it's like to be disabled, not just by physically, but also visually, but also in, there's so many other um, factors that go into disability that people don't think about. So he thought it would be a great idea to collaborate together um, as a team, bringing the different experiences into a film. 네, 아, 저도 그러면은 연관이 하겠습니다. 네. 어, 저는 참여자들을 모으고 같이 활동하는 것들을 진행을 했었고요. 그 안에서 저는 크게 세 가지를 어, 중요하게 봤습니다. 첫 번째는 즐거움, 두 번째는 도전, 세 번째는 목소리입니다. Okay, so he was in charge of kind of gathering the team together and to lead them um, so that they, they can collaborate together and not, not just for the film but for the, the whole uh, experience of the group uh, class that they were doing. And there are three things that he thought was the most important for them to uh, consider. Number one is to have fun and number two was to... Uh, to challenge, sorry, I was trying to remember the order. Number two was the challenge and number three is to make a voice. 이세 가지가 저에게 중요한 이유는 첫 번째, 장애인은 불편한 것 뿐이지 부정적인 이미지로 보여지고 싶지 않았습니다. 그리고 그 안에서 장애인과 비장애인은 함께 영화를 만들 수 있다는 것을 즐겁게 만들어주고 싶었던 게 저의 생각이었던 것 같고요. So um, he wants to share that um, just because uh, people have physical disabilities, it doesn't mean that they um, they can't do something or that they um, you know that you should look at look look at them with pity. Um, they are completely capable of doing a lot of different things that you possibly you could possibly imagine. But um, the only thing that is different is that they do have limitations. Um, that it, it what the limitations would be where it's just uncomfortable. Um, whether you know whatever that we, I think, but that's also with everyone else too. I mean, we, we have our comfort zones, but I think it's one of those comfort zones that that they don't have accessible to. 두 번째 도전은 장애인이 무엇인가 할수 있는 도전. 나그 도전이 저는 영화를 봤는데 그 영화를 너무 쉽게 생각했습니다. 그 과정이 너무 힘들고 지치고 같은 장면을 여러 번 찍어서 많이 힘들기도 했었지만. 그래도 도전을 통해서 무엇인가 경험할 수 있는 힘을 저희가 가졌던 시간이었던 것 같습니다. So the second point you mentioned about how, um, that you have to challenge yourself is uh, so crucial for uh, people with disabilities because often they don't get, get, get that opportunity to even go for a challenge. And so for him it was very important that all of their members experience that, that same challenge that they had to have to create a film. But he definitely underestimated uh, making film <laughs> uh, would be a lot easier um, uh, or you know less difficult than uh, anything else. But um, he wanted to make sure that that was also that challenge that they wanted to go uh, above and beyond and to fulfill uh, uh, something that they probably wouldn't do it on a regular day basis. The second voice is the voice of the 어, 직접적으로 본인이 
사회에 낼수 없었던 말들 그 말들을 이 영화를 통해서 시도해 볼수 있는 그래서 나도 할수 있구나라는 것들을 변화를 줄수 있는 것들을 이 영상에 담고 싶어서 연승재 감독님에게 그런 것들을 얘기를 해서 많이 힘들게 했었죠. 그래서 이렇게 어, 영화가 만들어지고 나니까 그 안에서 즐거움과 도전, 그렇죠. 사회에 외치는 목소리, 이세 가지를 다 담을 수 있어서 너무 행복했던 시간입니다. So um, he does want, also want to mention that um, he wanted to put um, the third point that he was mentioning about the making a voice. Um, usually, uh, most times, that disabled people are not able to speak out loud in public uh, or, or share their experiences with others, and it, that they don't, usually don't have that platform. And he thought it would be a great way to make a voice using film and to be able to um, say what, it, what they really meant to say or they want to say um, without anyone having to judge them. And then also for them to be able to come together and use the tools that they had to bring forward um, the positivity of being able to do things that they can uh, with the abilities that they have. And, um, and he said that he bothered, he gave a hard time to the director <laughs> to, to provide all that information into this film and to provide um, the audiences uh, so, sort of a, an awareness um, that, you know, disabled people also have an opinion and that they also have a voice and that they also want to um, tell you guys what, what they feel and how they feel it. And so um, he's just really happy that he was able to fulfill those three main points that he felt that was very important for his members and for himself as well. So as a visually impaired person, um, she wants to share that um, even the most convenient tools that we have in our modern day society, just like using a kiosk to get enter or exit or to buy something, is one of the most challenging things that she has ever experienced. Um, and sometimes it almost feels like an abusive sort of tactic to, to make her feel like she can't do something on her own. And so she wanted to bring that uh, into her, her part of the story um, to let people know how our modern day convenience can sometimes actually be an attack on people that are visually impaired. And that um, the fact that she was able to put this into a film was already a challenge itself because she has difficulty moving around and to actually be able to uh, visualize uh, what this film may actually end up becoming. And so that she uh, felt the need to um, explore this area more into the film. And then so that uh, now that uh, once now that it's done, she feels um, rewarded, uh, the fact that she was able to participate in something um, so great that um, and she's so happy to be here, um, to be able to screen her film as well as um, to share the, her story. And also to, um, it's another way of um, her overcoming her um, obstacles um, as a visually impaired person. So she wants to thank everybody for coming. Does anybody else have a question in the audience? Hey, two minutes. 
So I'm just going to translate the questions very quickly before they answer. So for the director, she had a question about the duration of the training process, um, how long it took them to uh, teach them about filmmaking and anything else that they had to, to learn before actually producing the film. And then two other questions are for our artist, uh, producer and artist, um, that uh, she wants to know um, what were the difference, what, what changed in their lives before, uh, from before making the film to now after making the film. So we got a year and a half 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 and a <웃음> 다 알고 싶으니 다 알려주세요 <웃음> 라고 하시더라고요 그래서 제가 맨 처음 당황을 그랬어요 왜냐면 어, 영화가 사실은 이제 여러 파트가 있는데 이걸 3개월 이론 수업으로 이것도 여러 파트를 다 알려드릴 수 있을까? 라면서 되게 고민이 많았었는데 그래서 저는 최대한 음, 그 영화를 만드는 데 있어서 필요한 그 제작 과정들을 하나하나씩 다 같이 경험해 볼수 있도록 해드리고 싶어서 정말 뭐그 아이디어 제작, 아, 아이, 아이디어 단계, 시나리오 단계, 그 다음에 뭐 장소를 찾는 그런 단계부터 시작해서 다 같이 밟았고요. Um, so the first uh, when they met, uh, the producer asked her to teach them everything that they need to know about filmmaking so that they can make a film on their own without her if they chose to. <laughs> so um, the, the course itself that they, ha uh, they were registered for was three, three months. Um, so she was supposed to teach them all of, everything about filmmaking in three months. Um, so that was the, the first challenge that she had. But uh, because of that request, she didn't want to ignore the request and she wanted to give them that opportunity to actually understand what the process was. So she decided that because um, the, the class was more um, theory based, not practical, she had to add uh, in the practical aspect of filmmaking, um, starting everything starting from you know, brainstorming ideas and then to writing, uh, script writing and, and creating scenarios and then actually going into the shoots and everything and uh, also to um, to find locations where you can shoot. So every step of the way uh, was a new sort of lesson for them, um, start to finish. So that took about three months for them to to, do, uh, to learn together. And then it took about three months to shoot the actual film. 그리고 센터장님께서 두 번째로 저한테 부탁을 드렸던 게 어, 모든 팀원분들이 이제 영화 제작 수업이 처음이라 이제 용어 같은 것들이 어려울 수 있고 또 외우기가 힘들 것 같으니 그걸 최대한 뭐 예를 들어 파스트샷이면 어 여기서부터 여기 샷 이렇게 <웃음> 이런 것들을 이제 하나 하나씩 더 쉽게 알려주셨으면 알려주셨으면 좋겠다라고 얘기를 하셔가지고 그런 부분도 되게 신경을 많이 쓰면서 자료들을 찾아와서 이제 수업을 했, 진행을 했고. So the second point that he requested. <웃음> was um, because as a first time filmmaker or anybody that's starting to learn about filmmaking, it, it is challenging enough uh, that, that to learn about filmmaking itself, but the terminologies that people use or filmmakers use in the field 
are often uh, not represented in a convenient way for people that don't know anything about filmmaking. So he has asked her to simplify all the terminologies that filmmakers use uh, so that regular uh, people that do not make films understand, uh, also can understand how to, how the, why why you use terms like that. So if you had a bust shot, then he, she literally had to explain that it was from your head to your chest and, and like going through every terminology to simplify it in the way that regular uh, people can actually understand. 그리고 이제 촬영에 들어갔을 때는 사실 촬영 전부터 제가 걱정을 많이 했었던 게 어, 팀장 어, 센터장님께서 이제 모든 팀원분들의 이야기를 다 담고 싶다라고 하셨을 때 사실 제가 맨 처음엔 반대를 했었어요. 왜냐면 어, 10분 안에 모든 이야기를 다 담는다. 근데 이제 그러면 이제 장소도 많이 빌려야 되고 그럼 촬영 시간도 굉장히 늘어날 거고 이제 여러 가지 현실적인 문제에 있어서 굉장히 고민을 많이 했었는데 또 한편으로 다시 생각을 해보니까 이분들이 처음인데 또 처음이고 어, 첫 도전이고 또 어, 영화의 어, 영화의 주인공으로서 나온다는 게 저는 좀 굉장히 어떤 큰 변화가 있을 거라는 생각이 들었었거든요. 그래서 어, 맨 처음에 반대를 했다가 아, 근데 다 해보세요 처음이니까 약간 <웃음> 다 그러면 다 해보세요 이런 마인드로. 어, 진행을 했었고 대신 어, 이제 팀원분들한테 힘들 거예요. 아, 정말 힘들 겁니다. 근데 하시, 끝까지 하실 수 있으신데 힘드실 거예요. <웃음> 이렇게 해도 제차 강조를 해서 말씀을 드렸어요. 근데 진짜로 많이 힘들어하셨거든요. 왜냐면 저희가 한 10회차 정도 촬영을 했어요. 10회차 촬영을 할때 이제 1회차당 한 10시간 넘어가는 <웃음> 촬영을 계속해서 진행을 했었거든요. 그래서 네, 10시간. 한 회차 할 때마다 10시간 그래서 정말 많이 힘들어 하셨는데 그래도 이제 또 끝까지 잘 참여해 주셔서 영화를 이제 잘 마무리 했습니다. 네. So <웃음> when he first requested um, that he wanted to put all the different stories together, um, she first said no. <laughs> um, the reason why she said no was because she, uh, she knew that it was going to be, it will take very, very long to shoot every single story into one uh, 10 minute film. And also she knew that it was going to be very challenging for the members uh, because uh, of the, the complexity of actually creating a film in general. And so she said no to him at first. But then um, I think she had a change of heart uh, after realizing that this was their first time creating a film together and that uh, she, th she thought that it, was, it would be very important for every single person to become the main character of a film and not just focusing on one individual. And so that's when she decided that she was going to allow them <laughs> to, to provide all their stories together independently. Um, so, but then there's one thing that she said. She said that this is going to be a very, very, very hard our journey, a difficult journey that they will have, they're getting into, so they have to be prepared uh, even if they, if they want to go forward with their plans. And so that was what she said, and then every single uh, shoot that they went into were over 10 hours long. Uh, <laughs> and they were doing that, uh, their, they, so they shot 10 days or longer than 10 hours each for, to create their 10-minute uh, film. <laughs> That's why she had a big sigh at the end of that. <laughs> but uh, she, but she still feels happy that uh, they were able to fulfill uh, and, and accomplish what they have done together. <laughs> Anyone else have any opening? Uh, the first question is answered. Uh, 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 그런 것 같아요. 제가 그 변화 전에는 착한 장인이었습니다. 네. 근데 그 중에 어, 사기꾼 박사의 역할을 나와서 이 영상을 페이스북을 통해서 홍보를 하니까 사람들이 아 세상에는 나쁜 장애도 있구나 라는 인식의 변화가 있었던 것 같습니다. 네. 여기까지만 네. So he wants to uh, share what changed for, for him before and after the film. Um, so before the film, 
he said he was a nice guy. So he was a nice disabled person. And then after this film, um, he became not so nice. <laughs> um, just because, uh, no, um, he was saying that because in his film, uh, his role was uh, a bad guy. <laughs> and so when he was promoted, when they were promoting the film, that people were um, calling him the bad guy and that he, he's no longer the good guy anymore. And, and another thing that they did mention that there are many times where a physically disabled or disabled people in general are scammed quite often. And so that was another part that they wanted to put into their film and that's why he became the bad guy in the film <laughs> to show that they, there are people out there um, that are good but also there are bad not, uh, and doesn't have to do with their disability or not, that it could be anybody. 저는 제일 먼저 큰 변화가 일단 캐나다에 처음 와, 다시 처음 오게 돼서 그게 가장 큰 변화고요. 두 번째는 제가 일하고 있는 시각장애인 센터에서 어, 시각장애인들도 이런 영화를 좀 만들 수 있지 않을까 함께 이렇게 도움을 주신다면 어, 관계 도움과 이렇게 강사의 도움을 받아서 어, 우리들도 시각장애인들의 이야기를 좀 담아내고 싶다 어, 그런 어, 소망을 갖고. So uh, what changed for her was um, before making the film, obviously because of her uh, visual impair uh, visible impairment, that she never thought that she was going to be able to be to make a film together with anybody, um, or to make a film at all. And uh, now that after they have accomplished this, that she feels that maybe more uh, uh, visually impaired individual can actually participate in making films together uh, with a little bit of help from their instructors and uh, you know good people that they meet and so I think she, it has, uh, she thinks that it has opened up another sort of challenging but uh, rewarding and uh, vision that she's got for uh, the people that she works with at the visually impaired side of it uh, in Korea. <laughs> Um, I, I, before I wrap up, I just want to ask if there's anyone else that wants to ask a question or a comment. Yes? I absolutely love the producer's smile. What makes him smile so much? Because I don't think he's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> 네, 저희 프로듀서님, 어, 어떻게 하면 그렇게 환하게 웃을 수 있는지에 비결을 좀 알려달라고 하시는데요. 네, 절대 나쁜 사람을 안 보이시는데. <웃음> 어떻게 이렇게 환하게 웃으시는지 잠깐 설명해 주실 수 있으신가요? 아 무척 어려운 질문인 것 같습니다. <웃음> <웃음> 어 일단은 뭐 저는 항상 부정적인 생각보다는 긍정적으로 어떤 일을 헤쳐나가려고 생각을 많이 하는 것 같아요. 그래서 그 상황에 대해서 긍정적으로 하면은 언젠가 큰 결실을 맺지 않을까라는 생각에. <laughs> so you, can, you may have not understood him, <laughs> but his facial expression, right? <laughs> so he saying he says that he he tries his best to always be positive and not look at things from a negative point of view. And usually, what happens at the end of the day is that um, it's a, it's a rewarding process to actually be able to smile every day. And so that is uh, sort of how he. He runs it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to wrap up the Q&A. Uh, 네, 세분 나와주셔서 너무 감사드리고요. 네, 자리 앉아 계시면.